did a little paintings, drawings after um, my three days intensive. <sighs> and yeah, just really want to share first because I do feel it's so huge. When I'm doing this one, I feel like um, yeah, it's me drowning, and there's a sense of lost fear, um, overwhelmed, and just imagine me falling under, falling into this deep place under the sea. Whereas the rain is dropping down, and then yeah, just that sense of oh wow, I'm lost, and uh, this is overwhelming. But I also feel God is there, um, there for me, and like Book of Jonah, um, yeah, yeah, He is falling down deep 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 into the sea and uh, that's where the journey begins <laughs> yeah just did a little bit um i was processing that fear and pain and just that unknown and listening to that um some of the instrumental music and just help me to stay awake you know like sometimes when you're processing you really um like i do encounter prayer so i want to just fall asleep when i do encounter prayer sometimes without music words called dear I sense a romance actually that's what I longed for when I was a teenager fantasizing love I dream about romance yeah and this is and fun and excitement actually when I was doing it I was in my imagination I was picturing me with um guy <laughs> um, but later it does become jesus and became more like an encounter with the lord instead of desiring a romantic relationship it turns you know because because i feel all Intimacy. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Oftentimes, when I engage with the Lord, I feel that righteous, true, righteous, real, true intimacy in the spirit. And it's not like a earthly, sexual. <laughs> Um, obviously, I have great relationship connection with Chow, my husband. Um, but with Jesus, it's a sense of holiness and just full of hope and joy and just life. Anyway, you just feel, wow, that's the purpose of my life. So yeah, so that's why I'm engaging when I'm doing that. And this one is where the mess, yeah, just that swirl, like, oh, that swirl, because you know, this, this whole thing I'm place of grief 
which is important because I tend to come out of it. We want to rush from day one to day hundred. The three days, you know, the day he was killed, and the day he was resurrected, and oftentimes we don't want to stay in this place of grief. <laughs> we oftentimes just want to rush to the third day, which is legit. <laughs> so yeah, so this is just one of this drawing. Kind of for me to engage that sense of grief and failure, you know, because a dead Messiah was a failed Messiah. Yeah, so I was just engaging that. And then when we I get here, I, rem I realize, oh, you know what? It's actually flower. That's just the center, and that gives meaning to this whole swirl. Can't you see the beauty of it? Can't you see the beauty of the swirl? Can you see the beauty? The meaning behind all the pain when we come to him. When we come to him, all these things becomes meaningful. Everything turns to good things when we come to him and works for our benefit. And then uh, again, just more that storm, like I was just drawing around the flowers. So those, and it made me realize, oh, I was doing the ring, you know, that was just like a storm. And it's like a purple cloud. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cool. I wasn't even thinking actually when I was doing it. beauty wall yes and I try to translate it to Chinese in because I do feel like it does matter for me to translate to my mother language um, so I like there's a different way I actually don't remember how to write the last word <laughs> uh, that word so I use pinging which is yeah So, like TV media told me the same beauty story, you know, the beauty look like certain way. So yeah, one of my classmates back in high school. Michelle, when you laugh, your muscle look very tight. Yeah, I think it doesn't really speak strings. <laughs> it, it, to me, it's 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 just sometimes it's not about what people say. It's about they say something you're already afraid. You already believe the lie that you already. Too. So yeah, I don't think I give her grace. I think it's just my journey to yeah walk all of those lie. And there's rain, so it's like tear, but it's also like water. So all those sadness not going to just passed away in vain but not going to be meaningless
but they nurture me. They are part of me. I want to honor the pain, honor my story, honor what I went through. I am with you, so it's an Emmanuel. So that's another one I just did. Is me crying and feeling the grief, just feeling, oh my God, I feel like an orphan. Nobody see my beauty. Not my mom, not my dad. What、well, they do, but they don't. They do, but they don't. They do, but they never really engage with your heart, with my heart. I don't know why I use your. <laughs> Um. Yeah. They said they love you, but we didn't have much heart conversation, heart to heart. Um. So end up feeling. Anyway, there's so much. I don't want to talk about my sexual abuse. I don't want to talk too much about it. It's just yeah, I have my reason to feel what I feel, and no longer. Accuse myself for feeling what I feel. You know, I just used to accuse myself for asking too much, for asking too much, for not express my feeling to them very well. You know, like okay, the intensive really helped me to see. Your program, your program, and. They are not interested in what you want to say. They don't want to be bothered, and、uh, they love you, but they didn't have that capacity to have heart-to-heart conversation with you and be curious of more of what you're struggling, what you're going through. So, so anyway, so yeah, is it like mommy, daddy? I didn't. I don't feel. Yeah, I feel like an orphan. Feel like orphan's heart. So that's what it means. I was literally staring at this picture for so long and just, you know, not running away from it anymore. But be true to that unfulfilled desire. In my heart, all these years, all these years, and、uh, stay in this place of grief, and it's a holy, holy, holy place. Yeah, it's not shameful. It's not ungodly. It's not you don't have faith. It's not any of these. What the religious programming said to you, but it's a holy place like Son of Song. No, actually like Song. Like it's a holy place like Song. Like what King David's, his expression was, you know, holy, and that was worship. Ah,、uh, that is worship, not was. <laughs> Is a pearl, a precious pearl. I use that color to show you. And even at this place, you love me. I am love. So yeah, because the previous picture is you know just me crying and talk, thinking about self love. Now I'm like, it's okay. I am love.
so that's Jesus and I was start doing counter prayer and I was like Jesus I really need you after that three days because it's very clinical I feel um uh I I need him yeah encounter prayer is the best way I know how to come close to him and so I, yeah I, I couldn't get to this point but I feel the drawing uh, really helped me to get to this point even finally usually I might be encountering like engaging uh you know I know God's trinity right but you know there's different function you know Jesus to me at this point is to me he show up um, not father not Holy Spirit and uh, we were at the boat on the boat and uh, we're oh my god so beautiful I really want to cry and I did and I see myself crying the spirit and he's right next to me touching my face letting me know that he sees me he knows he is with me yeah and he said to me that you know what Michelle actually it's, you actually have processed this before when you first came to me at age 24 you did tell me you were like an orphan do you remember that oh my god i was like i forgot oh i did process that i did tell him i feel like an orphan so it's not a new thing that i'm coming across right now so that's enough i mean Yeah, I just uh, want to show you guys this creative. It is creative, but I don't like to use the word creative for this one. I don't know why. Maybe because creative sometimes sounds like work to me. Um, but I would just simply engaging him through. through drawing and there is no performance I don't have to make it pretty yeah thank you friends I hope this video really encouraged you and I hope that also inspire you to not be afraid or pick up any pen or pencil or color pen that you have and just do whatever you want to do and sometimes it will surprise you I would say the most the, the flower really surprised me starting with the swirl um, starting with the swirl that really surprised me and it's so beautiful so holy and literally everyone should experience that alright so I see you